What a glorious autumn morning. Uh, I had a, um, a tour booked here this morning at Bradford Dale. Um, but no one booked on it. Uh, so I've decided to come anyway. So, because I knew the morning was going to be beautiful. Lovely autumn colours. It's quite misty, foggy. It's got lovely atmosphere about it. Um, but by having no one book on the tour, the advantage of that is now for the first time in a long time I've been able to bring my camera out with me. Because um, I don't bring it out when I've got clients, that'd be unfair. Um, that's not what people pay me for. Uh, so yeah, I'm hoping to get some nice pictures and footage of Dipper and the Kingfisher that comes to the River Bradford every autumn and winter. I've got some little passerines in the top of the trees here. Blue tits, great tits. What's that man doing in that bush there? What a privilege. So I move around the corner a little bit. And this dipper's come back to the same rock and it's literally about 20 feet away from me. I'm getting lovely images of it. But one thing that's concerning me, my it all seems a bit fuzzy and foggy. And I know there is fog around this morning, but Shouldn't be affecting the picture from this sort of distance. I don't know, I've got some moisture in the lens. I'll have to check that out in a minute.
We've had some fantastic views of the Dipper this morning. There's at least four, maybe five Dippers flying around. Then we've just at one of the um, one of these sort of um, water pools that are along the river. We've just had this amazing sight of this huge trout. It must have been a good 14 to 16 inches long. I don't know about weights. Don't ask me that kind of thing. Leap out the water about a foot, maybe two feet out the water. Beautiful red, red belly, um, which is rainbow trout, is it? I'm not so sure, not so great on fish. But that oh, was fantastic to watch, absolutely superb. Still no sign of kingfisher yet. We've got the kingfisher. I didn't spotted it very, very well. Because from here with the naked eye, it just looks like a an orangey brown leaf. <laughs> How cool is that? Very little water in this part of the river, but it's perched right above where the dipper normally nests. So it's been sat there for a good two or three minutes now. fish about five or ten minutes ago. Great big bullhead or something, it was really struggling to get it down. I managed to film it but from the back so I don't know whether you can see it. But it's just landed on a branch as you can see, right in front of us. That's just stunning. What a morning. Bradford Dale I'm telling you. An amazing, amazing place to come and watch birds. It's so exciting. It's wonderful. This one I think is a female. I'm sure I've spotted a little patch of orange on its lower bill. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> that was amazing. The kingfish are so close. Just, I mean, I've seen kingfish hundreds of times before, but never, never, ever that close without the use of a hide. That was special, really, really special. <laughs> Just, I've got goosebumps at the moment. Oh man. It's worth coming out this morning. Definitely worth coming out. What a, what a experience. Oh, how many more times must I say how great Bradford Dale is? Fantastic dipper views. Great grey wagtail views, and now the most wonderful kingfisher views. That was so so special. Oh, anyway, back to the car now. That's our morning done. Uh, things to do this afternoon. Oh, thank you for watching. Subscription, thumbs up would be lovely. And if you live local, next time you see a tour for this area, get yourself booked on it. <laughs> Here's one very, very, very happy bunny. See you later. <laughs>